Anything in there? Not much. Anyone else get a weird vibe off this place? Maybe it's haunted. Haunted with what? You know, ghosts. Oh, please, Quill. Don't tell me you're one of those. coordinates are that way, but we'll have to find a way around the rubble. I'll try to find a side passage. Hey, Groot. <laughs> How do you make a dead Shatari float? <laughs> Take your foot off its head? I'm Groot. What, what's not to get? There's a doorway behind that big thing. Someone help me push it. Look at this old beauty. A table. This is a vintage Model T engineering workbench. They don't make them sturdy like that no more. Hey, come on, Quill. Let's see if this beauty still works. Maybe it can fix up your gear. Hey, hand me that part. the upgrade perfectly safe right uh, I don't trust your definition of safe about the mining shift been messing up our comms. Yeah, something really ain't right in here. And Quill fell down another hole. Another one. I'm parking the Milano, but Drax is out there searching for you. Maybe you'll find Quill before we do. We're trying to catch up to him. Guys, we really need to get better at the buddy system. She is not my buddy. I will find you, Peter Quill. Describe your surroundings. Uh, old metal, old mining equipment, just old. Noted. You two have any luck? It is not a question of luck. Peter, make some noise so we can find you. Drax? Rex! Hey, you want to mute your comms if you're gonna scream your lungs out? Peter Quill, 
I have located some old equipment, but I do not see you. This whole place is old equipment. That does not narrow my search. Huh. I wonder if Rocket knows what this is. bunch of stuff to mine. What was it? I don't know. Weird QB hunks of rock or metal. spot. We'll head that way and keep an eye out for you. How's my baby? You can see for yourself if we can get back up there. All right. Pretty sure that baby's our ticket upward. Somehow. It's a possibility. Maybe try something else. I could make it up there, but we're gonna need something for you two to climb up on. It is a wonder the nimble assassin has not abandoned us already. Drax. At least he called me nimble. It was not intended as a compliment. Anyone got any bright ideas? If you're not gonna use that visor, give it to me. She covers the forbidden knowledge of your magic glasses, Peter Quill. If we can get this thing down, it should give us the extra height we need. Let's see that fancy footwork, Gamora. Bet you can't do this. <laughs> that is physically impossible. Drax, think you can heft that container? Oh, the might of a Katathian warrior! Right about there. Understood. Remember this moment should you ever think of crossing me, assassin. All right, Rocket. We're back on track. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, good for you. Hard job. It ain't scaling if it's abandoned me. Oh, Flark. Rocket. Not now, Quill. Rocket? Perhaps he has located our monster. We don't even know what it looks like. The intel was extremely vague. It wasn't vague, it was... rushed. It's probably some cute little... Nightmarish abomination. Lady Hellbender is a renowned warrior. 
An ideal specimen will reflect that strength. Like I said, something scary. I disagree. Strength is endearing. My little Camaria and her mother Hovat were two of the strongest people who ever lived. I bet it's something cute. Women dig the cute stuff, right? Yes. All women in the entire universe get weak in the knees when they see something fluffy. Lady Hellbender is an exceptional female. She would desire only the most worthy of pets. You've never seen a baby otter playing with its hands. I cannot refute this. 